فکلو مما ذکر اسم اللہ علیہ ان کن تم بے آیات ہی مومن ناؤ ان دیز ٹو آیات بیکاز وی ہیو ریڈ یو نو دیر ور سپر اسٹیشن ان دی عربک سوسائٹی ان دی عربین سوسائٹی سم اینیملز یو نو بیکاز دے ہیو بین ڈیڈیکیٹیڈ ٹو سچ اینڈ سچ تھنگ اینڈ سچ یو نو دس دس شی کیمل ہیز گیون برتھ ٹو سو مینی یونی چلڈرن آف اسپرنگس ایٹسیٹرا ناؤ دے آر حرام ناؤ نو بڈی کین ٹچ دم نو بڈی کین ایٹ دیئر فلیش نو بڈی کین رائٹ دم so all these superstitions they were the man made laws having no roots in any revealed book in any law so even you know after coming becoming muslims you know because these things keep on haunting because for so many years you had the idea in your mind that such and such animals you can't eat the flesh so even after having islam just as we you know people most of us they have converted from hindus to to muslims and those hindu superstitions still haunt us they go on haunting us and we we can you know see among our beliefs and at uh, least practices if uh, maybe you don't say it out but you know in practice you you remain aloof from those things you know which were forbidden in that background from which we are coming the same was the case for some of the muslims all the quran had declared nothing allah subhanahu wa taala has not declared anything any such thing these things have no roots in the divine law but even then they were reluctant faqulu mimma dhukra ismullah alayh in kuntum bi ayati mumin eat from it but whatever is halal as declared by allah subhanahu wa taala and allah's name has been taken over it so you you must eat it wa ma lakum allah taqulu mimma dhukra ismullah alayh what has happened to you what is to you You don't want to eat on which the Allah's name has been taken. He has already detailed to you what he has made forbidden. You have to abstain from the haram only. Whatever is haram, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained to you. Even among from those which are forbidden permanently, if somebody is constrained, there's nothing to eat and he's dying of hunger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has very leniently and graciously given you the permission to save your life by taking something from that. But the majority of the people, you know, many of them, they are taking people away from the path of Allah due to their wishes, due to their concoctions. These are their wishful thinkings. Without any knowledge. without any basis without any argument in rabbaka hu alam bil muhtadin and your lord is very well aware of these aware of these people who are exceeding the limits wa zaru zahir al ism wa batina and give up forsake all sins whether it is in open or it is in secret hidden or evident all sins you have to give up ان الذين يكسبون الاسم سيجزون بما كانوا يقترفون those who are earning sins they will be recompensed they will be rewarded they will be punished for that which they have been gathering and earning wala taqulu mimma lam yuzkar ismullah alayhi wa innahu la fisq and don't eat from that on which allah's name has not been taken has not been mentioned because that is you know that is a rebellion against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now it is for the where willfully, intentionally you don't take the name. But you know, as we have read in Surah Al-Ma'idah, the, the Zabiha, if rightly slaughtered, then the, the animal which has been slaughtered, which must be permissible in itself, not the swine. Even if you slaughter it, according to the strict Islamic law, it is not going to become halal and permissible. but the goat or the calf etc etc which are permissible to take their flesh now if they are slaughtered by a jew a people of the book or a christian but slaughtered in islamic way cutting the the soft parts of the neck and leaving the the spinal cord and the vertebral column intact then you can take it although the name of allah has not been mentioned on it but if willfully somebody is avoiding that means it is wrong wa inna ulafis wa inna shayatin la yuhuna ila awliyaihim li yujadilukum 
and the satans they inspire their friends their agents they you dad the lokum so that they should argue with you no a very interesting argument was you say this animal died by himself by itself it is haram who put him to death allah so an animal put to death by allah is haram and whom you sacrifice whom you put to death it is halal how come there is an argument <laughs> so that argument was given because they used to eat the flesh of these dead animals even you know dead born even to a, to a she goat a dead child is born or to camel they used to eat it so maita for them they, they think it is it is halal allah has killed it what's the harm but the sharia islamic sharia has declared it to be haram why because the blood remains in that body in the tissues and blood is haram one of the main things which have been made which has been prohibited is blood wala taqulu mimma lam yuskur ismullah alayhi wa innahu lafisq wa inna shayatin la yuhuna ila awliyaihim liyujadilukum to argue with you wa in ataqabuhum innakum la mushrikun if you obey them if you follow them then you also become associates with allah subhanahu wa taala then you also become one of them aw man kana maitan fahyaynahu now imagine a person who was dead allah subhanahu wa taala has brought him to life but which death he was dead spiritually his soul and spirit within him was nearly dead dormant asleep absolute unconscious allah subhanahu wa taala has brought him to life now his soul and spirit is also active aba man kana maitan fahiya na ho we have revived him we have brought him to life spiritually wajalna lahu nuran yamshi bihi and we have given him the light with which he is walking this noor is quran his soul has awakened from the slumber and now allah has given him the light now so now he can walk he will walk you know in different aspects of his life he will act as a muslim as a mu'min so actually keep this one kaman masaluhu fi zulumat is it is this example of this person is like the one who is in darkness less of a kharij minha and he is not coming out of the darkness he wants to remain in the darkness you know all the people in the pagan arabs they were spiritually dead because no prophetic teaching was with them no sharia was with them no book was with them so actually spiritually they were dead but some of the people allah subhanahu wa taala they brought, he brought them to life now they have iman their souls are now alive and now allah has given them the light this book quran sharia and they are walking in the light of this book and others are they want to remain plunged in the darknesses kaman masaluhu fi zulumati laysa bi kharij minha zalika zuyyana lil kafirin ma kanu ya'malun in this way whatever these unbelievers are doing it has been made <coughs> beautiful for them they think we are okay وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا فِي كُلِّ قَرْيَةٍ أَكَابِرَ مُجْرِمِيهَا And in that way, we have appointed in every township very big criminals, Abu Jahl, like Abu Jahl and Abu Lahab, لَيَمْكُرُوا فِيهَا So that they go on devising plots against the Prophet ﷺ. This is the same subject, you know, which we read before. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍّ عَدُوًّا شَيَاتِينَ الْإِنسِ وَالْجِنِ In the same way, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا فِي كُلِّ قَرْيَةٍ أَكَابِرَ بُجْرِمِيهَا You know, the idea could have come to some of the moments, some of the Muslims of Mecca. Why these people are given this liberty? They are persecuting us. They are leading the people astray, innocent people. They don't know, but they think these are our leaders. They are more knowledgeable. they go to syria they go to yemen they know this world more than we know so we have to follow them so they are leading the the silent majority or the common masses they are leading them away from the path of allah so why this liberty has been given to them so allah taala is explaining 
This is because we are testing everybody here. Unless there is also evil, evil on one side, good on one side. What is the testing then? If there is no evil in this world, no falsehood in this world, nothing, no sins, then what is no temptation for any sin? No persecution for going towards right? So what is the, what is your credit then? So that is the, the philosophy. So that they should devise plots and schemes and they should plan how to you know, forbid people from accepting Iman and faith. Whatever they are devising, it is going to be against their own souls. They will be doomed themselves. They will be thrown in the fire of hell. But they don't have the understanding. They to perceive not.